I think only two days are left um, uh, for the exam. So what I did, I think I'll uh, share that. Uh, as ma'am said, I also did not do anything new. So there was, uh, there were these mock tests that I already had given. So I, I was actually preparing with uh, two other uh, friends of mine. So it was better, like anatomy uh, was better with uh, like studying with them because we could uh, see the scans or uh, uh, books and then remember. So all I did was uh, two, three books uh, that I referred uh, and one, two websites uh, like radiology vibes. Uh, I revised them before, uh, like two days before the exam, just like mocks. And uh, I, uh, not before the exam, exactly one day, but before that, like tomorrow, you can do is uh, give exam, like uh, sit for 90 minutes, uh, put a timer and uh, solve any mock exam that you want. And then you can check it by yourself or you can ask someone to do that because uh, you have to uh, write 100 uh, questions in 90 minutes. So less than a minute is what you're going to get. So you have to check for your uh, typing speed, your spellings as well. Uh, do not use any abbreviations in exam. Uh, they'll, they'll give the uh, uh, all the instructions there, but uh, still I'm telling you now, uh, read normal variants from wherever you can. Uh, in anatomy, um, most uh, like, uh, uh, almost around, uh, I think eight to 10 questions, normal variant uh, came. So from wherever you can refer or, uh, or else I have few uh, pictures, I can uh, share them with you guys. Uh, then, yeah. Uh, and uh, do not read anything new, but uh, I think you must have written what, what uh, you'll have to revise. So last minute before going the exam, just see those pictures and, uh, uh, just exactly see where the arrow point is because sometimes what they'll do, they'll give the arrow on the picture itself. So see where the pointer is. So you don't get it, uh, get confused with it, but because many of the times you won't see where the arrow head is and you will uh, write for the other structure that is marked because this has happened before also. Uh, and, um, uh, write uh, sides wherever possible. Most of the pictures, they will give sides right or left. But if you know the side and you're sure about it, write it. Otherwise, you won't get uh, one, uh, two complete marks. You'll get only one mark for that. Uh, remember this one thing. And uh, uh, yeah, uh, uh, practice uh, the mocks, I would say. Uh, go through Veer and Abram. Uh, like just uh, scan whatever uh, um, the papers or pictures you you must have uh, kept in draft or uh, you must have folded some papers that you might be like, yeah, last minute I'll have to go through these. Just go through that. Uh, ultrasound pictures come. Uh, the last exam I'm talking about, February, we almost got only the uh, right uh, upper outer quadrant of abdomen, like the liver segment almost we got was eight questions from that section only like uh, head of pancreas was there, uh, hepatic artery, and um, we had to write the segment of liver, which was there. Uh, so like these three, four questions and lower pole of right kidney. So all these were marked, uh, we had to write these. So ultrasound was also the focus, uh, like only one part, I would say, not the whole abdomen also. So just go through these. Uh, mammogram came and uh, um, just uh, don't uh, leave. Uh, there is one picture of uh, hip, uh, uh, pediatric hip ultrasound. Uh, wherever you'll get the picture, see definitely one question. It has been repeating. Uh, like there is uh, astabular labrum, head of femur and a few two, three structures in that picture. Just go through that picture. Uh, that is one important uh, picture for the exam. Uh, then there are questions from uh, shoulder, uh, wrist. Um, so in wrist, uh, just look for the carpal bones. Uh, that is one of the questions they will ask. Uh, and in that one normal variant, usually they'll ask a uh, scaffold unit. Uh, uh, that is one normal variant in wrist. So that is one of the major questions that they'll ask. Uh, then there is knee. 
and uh, just see the layers of the ankle in mri uh, ankle and foot there are a few layers uh, like from where uh, you you have there is this uh, uh, three tendons uh, as far as i remember put uh, uh, tibialis posterior uh, extensor hallucius longus and uh, extensor uh, digitorum so just uh, look at those like medial and lateral side this is one of the questions that we got uh, just don't confuse yourself but you'll have to be fast for your exam because you'll have to write it in less than 1 minute try writing the try finishing your exam at least 20 minutes before 20 to 25 minutes because uh, not all the questions that you get you will get it in first go so if you don't understand it leave it and then go to the next question so finish your 100 questions as fa uh, as fast as possible then uh, go and think of uh, the question uh, the time was running so i just skipped the questions i did not know and uh, think, do not panic in exam uh, uh, you will be knowing your stuff uh, just make sure uh, the yeah uh, you keep an eye on the timer uh, you write the sites you check the spellings and uh, uh, whichever you don't know keep it at last yes ma'am this is like the last minute things uh, that i did solved the mocks uh, did not read anything like new but uh, the things I was not sure about, uh, I just revised them and uh, read normal variants before going. This is fine, Shivani, uh, because this is what even every uh, we, I did it and I believe most of the students do. Uh, what Shivani was telling in the foot is, uh, you have to remember that Tom, Dick and Harry. Yes, uh, yes, ma'am. So that was uh, what she was telling was in the medial aspect was tibialis posterior, then you have Flexa digitorum longus and flexa. It's, it's not medial aspect is flexa. Anterior aspect will be extensor tendons. So just yes, go yes. through it so that I don't want you people to get confused. And peroneus longus, peroneus brevis tendons on MR, which will be medial, which will be the one which is closer to the bone is brevis. The one which is away from the bone is longus. Just uh, these simple things you'll have to remember. And, yes, ma'am. Uh, like yeah. uh, they are not asking anything uh, like very much out of the box as well. There will be a few questions. I think we'll have to keep in mind that we have to score anything between like more than 150, I think should be our goal to be on the safer side, more than 150, 160. Hmm. Yeah, this is because the percentile based exam, if you know most of them, uh, if you can attempt as many questions as possible, that is great. Uh, and ma'am, there is no negative marking. So I think we should yeah. attempt all the 100 yeah, definitely. questions. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. We have to attempt all the questions. But make sure that if um, those which are hard will be hard for most of the students. Yes, so yes, in yes. that way, it should be okay. Uh, Matthew uh, or internal, do we have any questions to ask Shivani? Yeah, uh, just uh, a few questions. One is like uh, when we log in, right? Uh, in the beginning. Yeah, yes. Is yes. the time included in... Uh, 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 no, no, no. Uh, they'll tell you to first put your ID and the password, but do not press enter. So as okay. soon as the timer will start, uh, then you'll have to just enter and your first question will appear. And uh, okay. there is an option to change the window as well for all the images. But for most of the images, you won't need it. There is an option for changing of window, uh, zoom in and zoom out option. And okay. uh, uh, the image was on the left side, you'll have to type on the right side. Uh, if you have uh, done right. any mocks or you have taken radiology vibes or something, so it's uh, like almost the similar kind only. And uh, there are color codings for your questions. Uh, the ones you have answered will come in blue. The ones you have not will come in white. So you'll know okay. which questions you have answered and which you have not. You're giving in Hyderabad only? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So it is an Apollo. Uh, just uh, uh, you you'll easily find the exam hall. Uh, and uh, oh. there are three exam halls. Uh, in any one, you will be there with uh, other people. Uh, okay. Yeah. Just go like one up, one one hour before the exam. Uh, like one oh. one and a half hour because you'll have to register yourself. You'll get one ID card. So it will be smooth. Like uh, you'll don't you'll don't you don't have to rush. Uh, okay. Uh, take one so the ID. Laptops that they give, uh, yeah. So ID card and uh, photograph and uh, as well as the paper, which your uh, yeah, time your, 
yes yes uh, i think you uh, the rcr uh, admit card uh, like uh, you you must have got a mail right of the admit card that yeah. a print out yeah. of that and yeah. any id proof your aadhar card will work uh, here okay. in hyderabad yeah that much only and if you have any belongings there is there are lockers so you can keep your laptops mobile phones there okay fine uh, the, another thing what i wanted to ask first uh, see the the lab the laptops right is it like a mix of so one person will get a windows and somebody no, no, no. Else... Uh, everything uh, all is uh, like uh, it there are desktops there are no laptops okay uh, uh, there and uh, there is nothing like differentiation because the rcr website is only different uh, they'll okay. have already logged in uh so you can't change anything so you'll have to just oh. put your number and uh, there's a keyboard or mouse you'll have okay. to just click on the next image and you can see like there is no differentiation fine. of windows or mac yeah okay fine yeah. Uh, another thing what i wanted to ask was like uh, see uh, uh like you said we have to mention the sides right yes uh, yes yeah. uh, so there are when i'm done mock exams uh, there there are some images like you know an, like an mr image uh, where uh, you know when i've checked the answers they have not mentioned the side so that is but, okay right but or should i mention the sides in all if all you the know the, if you know the side i if you're sure about mention the sides because uh, uh, if you won't write the sides they'll definitely uh, deduce uh, one mark so like even if the side is not mentioned then like yeah, uh, even left if or right. the side is not mentioned and you're sure if it's left or right mention it because last uh, la- yeah. when i gave the exam most of the images had uh, annotations but okay. a few of them did not have but i did mention right or left Fine. exam uh, matthew we can take an example suppose i show you an image of chest uh, ct chest and okay. i mark the uh, subclavian artery on the right side but i suppose i don't mention it as right okay it's understood because you know yeah, sp yeah, you know right atrium that's fine so that's fine right side right subclavian in that way you can write mm. but otherwise you yeah. can write uh-huh. uh, ma'am what i meant was like suppose they given uh, like an mr image of the ankle mm. okay uh, like they've uh, cut the section halfway through mm. and uh, 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 like they have not mentioned any annotations on top <laughs> Or not. So, Then you need uh, not. Need not, no. Yeah, need uh, not. Uh, uh, See, okay. at least you should have some clue, na. No? Either you should yeah, know yeah, it yeah. because of that. Just in structures, you should know what the anatomy is, what structure, whether it is right or left. Or yeah. if not, they have to mention. Okay, yes, okay. yes. As yeah. in, like knee, if there is tibia and fibula, so na- that we can identify it as left or right side. But supposedly they have given some cross section, like axial images of ankle, where we cannot. So that is okay. but mostly they won't give uh, such questions okay okay matthew i don't think it will be that confusing okay the royal <laughs> college exams are very clear you know because they don't want ambiguity this exam is being conducted worldwide so there will be lots of students having doubts as to whether it is right or left up and down whatever so what okay. you need to understand is if you are sure of the side mention it okay sir don't leave it because okay sir okay because you don't know whether the examiner is expecting it or not supposing yes, the examiner is not expecting it and you have mentioned left and right or if it turns out to be wrong i don't think you will be penalized for that okay sir but you will be penalized if they expect you to know the side and you have not written okay yeah. yes sir but 99% all, all the questions it will be very clear so you should not have a doubt you know as to whether you should be writing it or not okay. uh, yes 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 sir yeah, definitely that's all, that's all. most of the questions are very clear and right and left is also given but few obvious images uh, they won't give uh, the side there we can like write because uh, if we don't write our uh, one mark but yeah if you exa- uh, if you like 100% know then only write but if you know the structure correct and if you are doubtful about the side don't write uh, so at least you'll get one mark <laughs> this is just for the images that will confuse you otherwise uh, yeah write the sides thank you so much that's all that see if you don't write the side and uh, they expect you to write it then you lose one mark anyway yes sir and if you write the side and it turns out to be wrong then also you lose one mark uh, sir we lose two marks sir so you lose two marks is it yes sir the whole answer will be given wrong okay i mean if they are expecting you to write which side it is then you have you lose two marks yes yes sir okay sir irrespective of uh, they are expecting or not if we write the wrong side so mm-hmm. it's considered as an wrong uh, considered as a wrong answer and right. we are uh, not getting any marks sir so you have to be very clear as to which side it is 
uh, yes sir yes so if we are not 100% sure so we can just write the name of the structure so at least we will get one mark for it hmm. and one mark will be deduced for the sites okay. okay yeah you have all, all of you have to be smart about it in answering the questions okay so that if you i mean yes, don't sir. leave too many questions because after all at the end of the day you lose marks for each one of them yeah, yes sir try answering you know maximum you will get it wrong but at least there is no negative marking there is no negative marking no sir yeah. pranav any questions whatever shivani has said is 100% true okay first of all most important is that you must revise or go through some of the mcqs that you have done before especially those you got wrong and see which are the correct answers because this is something which i call as murphy's law or sort's law that whatever you answered wrong that is the question will come in the exam so if you are doubtful about something just go ahead find out the answer from the textbooks and make sure you don't repeat that mistake in the actual examination go through some of your mock tests also mock exams do a couple of mock exams in limited time very important because that will maintain that uh, stress on you otherwise if you are going to be relaxed about it in the real exam you will not be able to finish the paper those are important points you know very very important points so there has to be some stress but at the same time you have to make sure you are answering correctly so in your hurry don't make mistakes and silly mistakes make sure the answers are uh, you know you give reasonable time to finish the entire paper and not be in a rush to answer the last 10 questions or whatever dr marza yes sir what shivani has given is what uh, is the most important thing in the last uh, minute just go through the mock pay, mock pay, mock exams now that's it that should be fine if you have any doubts you can message shivani in case you have a particular doubt regarding the exam otherwise i think you are all well set to go for the exam uh, are you all uh, when are you coming to hyderabad hello i'm uh, i'm coming on the 8th okay uh, your exam is on the 9th ma'am 9th 9th afternoon 2:30 is the exam 1:30 i have to reach there for registration 2:30 okay. is the exam try it. try to be there by 1 o'clock then 1 o'clock yeah yeah exactly. then, uh, yeah that's all. and uh, be leaving back at night and tana when are you coming same ma'am on the 8th afternoon i'll be reaching okay then all the best to both of you all the best to both of you yeah thank thanks you. a lot thank shivani you. And, thank you thank you so much sir matthew and pranav only one thing do not open your textbook from page 1 and read up to the end because you will forget everything in radiology okay, okay. Yeah. now just yes, concentrate on a few Uh, tough questions and do maybe do a couple of mock tests and that's all. Okay, keep your brain light. Yes, don't fill it up with confusing thoughts. And remember one thing which Shivani has also mentioned: most of the questions that they ask in the Royal College exams are not very complicated. They are not going to ask you very rare variants, you know, or very rare complications. It's going to be very easy. And generally, Indian students fail because of that. You think that they will ask very very difficult questions? It's not that. is the simple ones that that gets you so it will be normal variants and only slight variations will be there and there will be a few tough questions because that has to separate the good ones from the average otherwise everyone will get full marks so obviously there will be a few tough questions and that is where you have to make your mark don't just assume that okay if i leave it everybody else will leave it they may not so make sure you are answering all the questions and see as many questions you can get correct as possible that is how you will go through this exam clearly good okay. thank you so much shivani for your uh, shivani please uh, share the normal variants with kadir kadir you share those yeah. with the exam yes, students who are going for exam yes ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am i'll do that yes ma'am yeah okay thank you shivani Chalo. Thank you so much, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah, all thank the you, best. Sapna, thank, you, thank, thank you, Sapna. Thank you, and thank you to both the students. And wish you all the best. Best of luck. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir.